Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here with Cinema Sound at Cinema Sound Studio B here. You know, Foley is one of the most overlooked aspects of production in post. And it's the difference between a professional production and an amateur feeling one. And your audience won't know why. They'll just know that, gosh, I really didn't feel like I could connect with the character or, or something like this. And it's likely because either the mix on the Foley is bad or the Foley itself is not very immersive. And we want to never have that happen for any of our Cinema Sound members or MZ Pro members. So at Cinema Sound, we've been developing a Foley library that's MIDI implementation based, not audio implementation based. And you probably don't know what that means, but I'm going to show you in a second. Today, we're going to be showing you how to use the Foley library and layering the sounds to create amazing punch and amazing grit that otherwise is just a pain to do on your own, dragging audio files and up and all of this, and be able to switch between sounds and create your own amazing, deep, awesome Foley yourself. Let's roll. All right, we're here in Logic Pro, and we're gonna play a little bit of uh, Blade of Honor for you, but uh, without the sound effects, just so you can kinda see what's missing, and then we're gonna do a little cool layering here with the Cinema Sound MIDI triggered Foley library. Check it out, so here's the scene. It's a serve you and Deridia. And none have served me more than you, Regent. But if you do not succeed in this task, and he walks away, and we're obviously missing a great deal of foley there. Watch it again, and watch what happens. He does a little stutter step at the beginning, and then another little slide step at the end. But to serve you and Deridia. And none have served me more than you, Regent. Gong, and glunk, but and then he settles. Know. And then at the beginning, watch his stutter step. But to serve you and Deridia. And he goes a little left, and then starts. And then his first step is there. So if you had a regular old foley library, you know, you're, you're kind of out of luck. You, you need to really have the nuance to be able to put this all together. And uh, we're gonna check that out right away. So I've got a bunch of these loaded in contact, the contact version here. Let's take this automation off. And uh, here we go. And uh, this is the tennis shoes loud. You can see me playing down here. These are the full steps. Just heels, and then toes, and then slides, stops, and then, I'm reaching way over here on this keyboard, uh, pickups. So we got a little bit of work to do here. Um, let's go back. But to serve you and Deridia. Boom, and boom. So let's just put in the full steps first. I'm gonna kind of put this in a place where you can see the MIDI go down the screen and uh, the MIDI go down. I just said that. From the Department of the Redundancy Department, okay. So. Oh, somewhere in here, let's try this. With pleasure. It's always an honor to serve you and Deridia. Step, and clunk. none have served me more than you, Regent. And so there's really only three. Let's see if we got those right. And none have served me more than you, Regent. For sure. Now let's add uh, some of the little pickups because he picks up his foot there at the beginning. Let's go back here. Let's serve you and Deridia. Pick up. That right, his right foot picks up, so we'll pick up. This one will do. Let's serve you and Deridia. And none have served me more than So just a little subtle thing. And then he does his heel. He picks up and then dr and drops his heel. Let's serve you and Deridia. And none have served. There's a little shift he does, so we'll find a nice little heel. That one'll work. And none. Let's see. And none have. We gotta go Let's a little earlier. And yeah, he he does that lean to his left. That's what we want to get. Let's serve you and Deridia. And none have served me more than you, Regent. And the stop is gonna go there, so we'll find that. Actually, that one's kind of nice. But to serve you and Deridia. And none have served me more than you, Regent. But if you do not succeed... And it was a little soft, but we're going to merge all of these together. And then we're going to double click on them and they're going to show up here in the piano roll. I'm going to move this over here. Lots of screen space to find. Me more than you, Regent. And because it's MIDI triggered, we can bring it up with velocity. Somewhere in there. Me more than you, Regent. But if you do, it might be just a little. I don't know. It doesn't feel quite right. We'll bring it back a couple frames. Me more than you, Regent. But no, it's or it's now. It's way early. Let's bring it a little later. Me more than you, Regent. But if you do, yeah, not, maybe even one more frame. Me more than you, Regent. Yeah, you do, super nice, super nice. 
And uh, okay, now we got the mini right, we'll close that down. Now we've got this as cement tennis shoes. And one of the nice things about this library, in fact, the biggest thing about this library is that we can change the sounds if we don't like it. Now, right now we only have one version of it here in this beta, but what if we want say cement, let me open this one up, cement dress shoes. And let's say it's, uh, what's channel one loud. All right, so we'll just drag this up here without having to change or re-perform anything. And none have served me more than you, Regen. But oh, that's socks. <laughs> Here's the dress shoes. And none have served me more than you, Regen. But if you do not succeed... That's, that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I got uh, dress shoes on linoleum. Uh, we don't need this. Let's try this. And none have served me more than you, Regen. But if you do not succeed... How about uh, footsteps on... These are boots now on dirt. And none have served me more than you, Regen. But if you do Pretty interesting. How about just straight sand? Let's try this. And none have served me more than you, Regen. <laughs> it's a completely different feeling. All of a sudden you're like, oh, he's in a different space. He's like in the beach or something. But what's really great about this is now you can add layers of these things without any trouble at all. In fact, I've got these loaded. In fact, let me go to uh, the linoleum. Uh, no, let's just use cement. I'm going to bring this up. I have four different versions, as the library will have. You've got loud, medium, run, and soft. Not necessarily in that order. But you can layer these together. So here's right now, uh, we're listening to loud. And none have served me more than you, Regent. And the loud is delineated by the fact that it's not, like, actually louder, but the heel to toe is very fast. Whereas if we go to the medium... You can hear it's a little bit slower. The run, you know, for someone running, and then of course the soft, it's very, very slow. So we could theoretically run all of these together to get a super big crunch. Now how we would do that, at least in contact, because we can load multis, we just put all of these sounds onto the same MIDI channel. Now you can do this with the Sforzando version by just adding, you know, um, and copying files, copying the MIDI tracks or regions down. But now we should get all four of these triggering. And none have served me more than you, Regen. But if you do not succeed in this game. And that's a, that's a pretty giant sound. They're, they're a little out of, the heel and toes are going to be a little out of sync, obviously, because they're happening at different times. But if you'd performed them with the heel and toe separately, you have a pretty awesome result. Let me show you what I'm talking about there. For layering purposes, we might not want to use those full, the, uh, the full samples because, you know, they're pretty much locked in time-wise. So we want to get rid of these. So these are the heels and these are the toes. So now I have control to go ba ba. Whereas if I use these, it sounds like a whole bunch of people. But here, these are all of those samples going together and I can control them if I want. So let's try this now. But to serve you and Deridia. And none have served me more than you, Regent. Cool. Now we just merge these together, like so. And none have served me more than you, Regent. But if you do not... Pretty cool. Now, if we do this, we can do this with the linoleum, because we have this also. Uh, unless we'll just put these all on the same MIDI channel. That's where that was. Good. Here's the first MIDI channel. This one will be this MIDI channel, and this one will be this MIDI channel. They'll all trigger once I drag this down. And none have served me more than you, Regen. But if you do not succeed... Pretty beefy. And I can also just merge them together by option or alt dragging. Now I got both. And none have served me more than you, Regen. But if you do... And if I wanted to add an element of dirt to it, let me get rid of this for a second, we can do that. All four dirt versions. This will be really juicy. And none have served me more than you, Regen. Let's right, turn up the dirt a little more. Me more than you, and heck, let's add the tennis shoes back in. And what the heck, we'll add some sand. And none have served me more than you, but if Now he's a giant, isn't he? And none have served me more than you, 
He's a super giant. And you're like, well, these are amazing sounds, but they're really too crunchy. I mean, it's foliage shouldn't be anywhere near that loud. And of course, I'm agreeing with you. And they're in a giant training hall. So we bust all of these to the same output. We're going to add an EQ that does a little bit of a low frequency cutoff. And none has served me more than you, Radio. But and a little bit of the highs. We can also help with some of this here like this. this. And none has served me more than you, Radio. Maybe the sand is just a little too much. And none has served me more than you, Radio. And then we can add the room in. We got a big hall. And none has served me more than you, Radio. And now, obviously, it's way too loud, so we just bring it down. And none has served me more than you, Regent. Even if you do a little bit less. And none has served me more than you, Regent. And none has served me more than you, Regent. But if you do One not more time. And none has served me more than you, Regent. Now that is a giant amount of Foley mashed together. You would never do it like this for just a simple walk, but the capability that you have to be able to do this kind of layering, mash it all together, mission mash, you know, you're gonna have uh, the ability to have women's shoes and heels and all kinds of stuff to be able to mix and match. Layering is so easy in the Cinema Sound Foley uh, library right now in beta, which you can download for free right now from the Cinema Sound store. The permutations of the Cinema Sound Foley library are endless, especially with the amount of patches that we have available. And like everything in the cinemasound.com store, once you buy a library once, you never have to pay for it again. No updates. There's no charges for updates. Once you have it, that's it. And we'll be updating the Foley library, the coming ambience library, the on all our presets libraries over time as we continue in our development of these products. And you'll never have to pay for them again. So get to the store, get your Foley library now, start messing with it. We'd love to hear about your results on the forum where we can answer questions and get you up to speed as fast as possible. Until then, We'll see you in post.